If I want to add a picture into my document from my student data files, I need to go to the Insert tab and then choose Pictures. I could go to Online Pictures and search through Bing and find a picture from online, but if you want to use the exact pictures that are from the book, you need to get them from your student data files. So we'll click Pictures and then we'll find our student data files, whether it's on your flash drive or mine is on my desktop. Go into Microsoft Word and whichever module you're in, so I know I'm in Module 3, and if you can't see um, these particular graphics, then you can come up here, then you can come up to, let's see, the top of this window and change it to a different view. So right now, this is not actually the graphic that I want to add in there. It should be an apple. And so even though this doesn't look like an apple, it's a WMF file, Windows Media file. So it's not giving us a good preview, but you can tell just by the name Apple that this is what we're wanting to do. So we'll go ahead and click insert. And this is going to give us a massive apple. And we need to go ahead and resize this apple. So we're going to always resize using the corner handles and make it probably about the height of the bar that we have here. Now here's where you see a problem in Microsoft Word. You can see that sometimes it's hard to move things around and it doesn't sit the way we want it to sit. So what we do is we click on the graphic and we go to these text wrapping or layout options. And with this layout option, we always want to choose in front of text. This makes these objects See, I can do it from this one as well, and it's automatically in front of text because when you create um, shapes, it'll automatically do that. But this makes them free floating so they're easier to move around. So if I go and copy this, Control C, now Control V, now it's a free floating copy of that apple so I can create a cool letterhead that way. When you do this free floating though, it's going to be hard to enter or create text because they're, it's literally floating above the text. And your cursor is right here. So if you go to start typing the address and the phone number, address and phone number that you need to create for this letterhead, it's going to be covered by all that text. And you don't want to move this up here because then it'll be in danger of not printing. So instead of what we'll do is, oops, I didn't want to undo that. So we'll redo this is we can go ahead and hit enter return in front of that address or text to get it where we want it to go and then it just might mean re laying out or repositioning all of our different elements now i can highlight that one particular line try not to highlight that one it's a little bit tricky but we'll just try it and center it and it looks like it didn't affect that so it should be good so that's what you want to do when you're creating graphics and you need to be able to move things around is you need to hit enter or return for actual lines you want to type in the paper to move them down and then make sure that they're floating in front of text so that you can easily reposition them.